Important information to all residents of Sweden. In case of crisis or war, this brochure is distributed to every household in Sweden. On behalf of the Swedish government, the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency, MSB, is responsible for the content. The brochure is available to order in Swedish, Easy Swedish, and in English, and may be downloaded digitally in many other languages. It is also available in Swedish Sign Language, audio format, and Braille. For more information, please visit msb.se. Keep this brochure in a safe place. To all residents of Sweden, we live in uncertain times. Armed conflicts are currently being waged in our corner of the world. Terrorism, cyber attacks, and disinformation. Campaigns are being used to undermine and influence us. To resist these threats, we must stand united. If Sweden is attacked, everyone must do their part to defend Sweden's independence and our democracy. We build resilience every day together with our loved ones, colleagues, friends, and neighbors. In this brochure, you learn how to prepare for and act in case of crisis of war. You are part of Sweden's overall emergency. Preparedness. In uncertain times, it is important to be prepared. Military threat levels are increasing. We must be prepared for the worst case scenario, an armed attack on Sweden. War, the ultimate threat to our freedom. When military violence is used to assume authority over us, our right to live a free and independent life is threatened. However, there are other ways, besides armed conflict, to influence and undermine our society. For example, cyber attacks, disinformation campaigns, terrorism, and sabotage. These types of attacks may occur at any time. Some are happening here and now. We can never take our freedom for granted. Our courage and will to defend our open society are vital, even though it may require us to make certain sacrifices. If Sweden is attacked, we will never surrender. Any suggestion to the contrary is false. Other serious threats. We also need to strengthen our resilience against other serious risks and threats, including extreme weather events, dangerous pathogens, outages across important IT systems, organized crimes. Together we make Sweden stronger. During times of crisis or war, we all need to contribute to Sweden's resilience. Government agencies, regional authorities and municipalities assume major responsibilities when our security is threatened. Municipalities, for example, care for the sick and elderly and ensure that childcare and rescue services remain uninterrupted as far as possible. The private sector also contributes to our preparedness. If a serious incident does occur, aid must be primarily focused on those who need it the most. This means that most of us must be able to manage on our own for at least a week. Here are some examples of how you can get involved in our collective preparedness. Join a voluntary defense organization that has specific duties within the framework of Sweden's total defense system. There are also other nonprofit organizations and faith communities that play important roles. Complete a course in emergency CPR cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Donate blood if you can. Talk to other people in your local community about how to strengthen your collective preparedness, for example, with neighbors in your block of flats or residential area. Swedish defense. Sweden's total defense system comprises military and civil defense. Sweden is also part of NATO's collective defense, military defense, Sweden's military defense protects Sweden and its NATO allies. From armed attacks defends our national borders and aids in conflict. Resolution. It comprises the Swedish armed forces and government. Agencies whose core duty is to support Sweden's military defense. Civil defense. Civil defense involves everyone who lives in Sweden alongside. Government agencies, regional authorities, municipalities, private sector and non-profit organizations. One of the most important tasks of the civil defense is to support the military defense. 
another core task is to protect the population and ensure that essential public services are uninterrupted as far as possible, even during times of war. Essential public services include energy, healthcare, and transport. Sweden and NATO. Sweden is part of the military alliance NATO. The purpose of the alliance is that the member countries collectively will be so strong that it deters others from attacking us. One NATO country is nevertheless attacked the other. Countries in the alliance will aid in its defense. All for one, one for all. Heightened state of alert. In the event of war or the threat of war, the Swedish government may announce a heightened state of alert to improve the country's ability to defend itself. A heightened state of alert requires that we unite against an aggressor while ensuring that essential services and functions remain uninterrupted. If such an event arises, you may also be called upon to serve in various capacities. Announcements regarding a heightened state of alert will be broadcast through various channels, including radio, TV, and teletext. The emergency alarm may also be used to signal the highest state of alert. The emergency alarm signals that Sweden is in a state of war or imminently threatened with armed conflict. The entire total defense must be mobilized immediately and everyone must prepare for war. The entire country has entered the highest state of alert. Total defense duty. From the year you turn 16 until the end of the year, you turn 70, you are part of Sweden's total defense and required to serve in the event of war or the threat of war. Total defense duty applies to all Swedish citizens living in Sweden or abroad. Total defense duty also applies to foreign nationals residing in Sweden. Total defense duty consists of military or civil defense service. During a heightened state of alert, you are to proceed immediately to the place you have been designated in your wartime posting. General national service. If the Swedish government activates general national service, you are to remain at work or carry out other tasks in support of Sweden's total defense system. During a heightened state of alert, go to work as usual, unless you are assigned a specific wartime posting. Warning systems. In the event of serious accidents, crises, threats of war or war, warnings may be issued in various ways. Learn what the different sirens mean. Outdoor warning. The outdoor warning system, which uses loud sirens, is operational in most municipalities and around Sweden's nuclear power plants. The system is tested at 3 p.m., 1500 hours, on the first non-public holiday, Monday in March, June, September and December. Public Service Announcement, PSA. This siren sounds for 7 seconds, followed by 14 seconds of silence. The pattern repeats for 2 minutes. Go indoors, close all windows and doors, and, if possible, switch off. The ventilation. Listen to Swedish public broadcaster Sveriges Radio. Channel P4 for more information. The Emergency Warning and Information System. PSA. Public Service. Announcement. Is used in emergency situations. For example, in case. Of hazardous air quality events or fires that may emit toxic fumes. Or cause explosions. Public service announcements are broadcast. Primarily through. Sveriges Radio, SVT, Swedish Public Service Television, SVT Teletext, as well as commercial radio and TV channels, apps that include Chris Information e SOS Alarm, Emergency Services, Sveriges Radio, and SVT. Text messages sent to mobile phones in the affected are Emergency Alarm. The siren sounds for 30 seconds, followed by 15 seconds of silence. The pattern is repeated for five minutes. Go indoors. Listen to Channel P4 on the Swedish public broadcaster. Sveriges Radio. An emergency alarm means that the entire country is in the highest state of alert. If you are a member of the armed forces or serve in the civil defense, proceed immediately to your designated wartime posting. If your wartime posting is your current workplace, follow your employer's instructions. Air raid warning. 
This siren consists of short bursts, which sound for one minute. Take cover immediately. For example, in a civil defense shelter, cellar, or other protective structure. You will have better protection indoors than outdoors, preferably in a room without windows. All clear. A long, uninterrupted siren, lasting 30 seconds. Seeking shelter during an air raid. If there is an air raid, you must immediately take cover in a shelter or other protective place. Choose the nearest one. You may also need to evacuate an area in the event of a possible military offensive. Warnings are broadcast through a variety of channels, including Air Raid Warning and the Swedish public broadcaster Sverga's radio. Channel P4. Civil defense shelters provide protection against shockwaves and bomb fragments. They also protect against the blast and heat waves from a nuclear weapon. Shelters provide better protection than other spaces when it comes to radioactive fallout, gas from chemical weapons, and biological weapons. Other places in which to seek shelter. Cellars, garages, and below-ground metro stations also provide cover. During an air raid, tunnels and walls can also offer some protection. Being indoors is better than outdoors, preferably in a room without windows. If you are outside and don't have time to take cover, you must lie down on the ground, preferably in a small pit or ditch. When you hear the all-clear siren, you may leave your shelter. Help people who are injured or trapped. Nuclear weapons. The elevated global threat level increases the risk that nuclear weapons may be used. During attacks in which nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons are used, take cover as you would during an air raid. Civil defense shelters provide the best protection. Radiation levels will lower drastically after a couple of days. Rudimentary positions. See page 13. Home preparedness. You contribute to our collective preparedness if you can manage on your own for at least one week. Adapt the advice in the checklists to your specific needs and situation. You may be able to share some things with others. For example, with your neighbors. In times of crisis or war, we all must help one another. Prepare ahead of time so you don't have to rush out when something serious happens. Water. You require at least three liters of water a day, mainly for drinking and cooking. In case of a drinking water shortage, your municipality can provide public water tanks. However, you still need to keep some water at home for emergencies. Get water storage containers or buckets with lids for collecting water. Buy bottled water or fill up storage containers. Store water in a dark and cool place. Check if the water tastes or smells unusual once or twice a year. Change the water when necessary. If you're unsure if water is safe to drink, boil it until it comes to a roiling boil. Store water in plastic bottles and put them in your freezer. The bottles can be used as ice packs if the electricity cuts out. When the ice has melted, you can drink the water. Don't fill the bottles all the way to the top. They may crack when frozen. Heat. Your home's indoor temperature will drop quickly if the electricity cuts out during winter. Gather in one room. Drape blankets over the windows and cover the floor with rugs. Good things to keep. At home, warm, all-weather outdoor clothing, clothes made of wool, thick socks, beanies, gloves, and scarves, blankets, sleeping mats, and sleeping bags. Alternative heat sources that don't require electricity. For example, a gas or paraffin heater, candles, tea lights, and fuel for heat sources, matches, fire starters, and a fire extinguisher. If you are using alternative heat sources, please take the necessary precautions. Open a window to let in breathable air and make sure to switch off heat. Sources before going to sleep. Communication. You must be able to receive news and important information from government authorities. You must also be able to stay in contact with family and friends. Good things to keep at home. Radio powered by batteries, solar panels or a winding mechanism, extra batteries, mobile phone and a charged power bank, phone charger for a car, important phone numbers written down on paper.
the Swedish public broadcaster Sveriges Radio, channel, P4, is the official channel for emergency information. It will continue to broadcast in the event of crisis or war. Find the frequency for your local P4 channel at chrisinformation.se. Food. You need food that is filling, energy-rich and that can be stored safely. At room temperature. Get food that can be prepared quickly, requires. Very little water, or that can be eaten immediately. Start building up. Your emergency storage by simply buying one or two additional items. When doing your regular shopping. Good things to keep at home. Non-perishables, grains, cereal, pasta, rice, couscous, instant. Mashed potatoes, milk powder, tortillas, crisp bread, crackers, salt, and spices. Tinned goods, tomatoes, vegetables, fruit, and ready-to-eat meals. High protein, dried or tinned meat and fish, chickpeas, beans, lentils, and cheese in a tube. High fat, cooking oil, pesto, sun-dried tomatoes in oil, tapenade, peanut butter, nuts and seeds. Energy boosts, fruit custard, jam, chocolate, honey, protein, bars, and dried fruit. Drinks, coffee, tea, hot chocolate mix, blueberry and rosehip soup, juice, or milk. Food for children, gruel, infant formula, oatmeal, and baby food. Make use of available fruits and berries. Grow. Edible food in your garden, on your balcony, or on a windowsill. Currency. The ability to make payments in various ways increases your Emma. Gency preparedness. You should use cash occasionally. Good to have. Enough cash for at least one week, preferably in different denominations. Other payment options, for example, debit or credit cards. And digital services. Toilet. If there's no water, for example, as the result of a power cut you will not be able to flush your toilet. Prepare to dispose of waste in other ways and maintain good hygiene. You may urinate in the toilet even if you can't flush it. Discard. Toilet paper in a garbage can or bucket with a lid. To dispose of excrement, fit a plastic bag or garbage bag in your toilet bowl or use a portable toilet or a bucket with a lid. Cover the Excrement with compost litter or sawdust. Your municipality will provide information on where to discard waste. Good to keep at home. Toilet paper. Wet wipes, hand sanitizer, diapers, menstrual pads, plastic bags or garbage bags, compost litter or sawdust, bucket with a lid. To reduce odor buildup, avoid mixing, urine and excrement. Other. Good to keep at home. Camping stove, gas burner, fuel, home pharmacy, first aid kit, matches, fire striker, torch, headlamp, tin opener, fuel in the car tank, or a charged battery. If you require prescription medicines or disposable products, for example, if you have diabetes, make sure to keep a month's supply at home. Evacuation you may have to quickly evacuate an area in the event of an impending military attack, natural disaster or hazardous emissions. Evacuation instructions will be announced through a variety of channels, including the Public Service Announcement PSA system. Switch on the Swedish public broadcaster Sveriges Radio, channel P4, and follow instructions from government authorities. If you are unable to evacuate on your own, assistance will be provided as well as emergency living quarters and food when you arrive at a secure location. Things to bring. Make a list of essential belongings if you are required to quickly evacuate and unable to return home for a while. Here are some tips for what to bring. Food and water to last a few days. Photo ID, debit or credit card, and cash. Medicines and aids, for example, hearing aid, radio powered by batteries, solar, panels or winding mechanism, warm clothing, water resistant, outerwear and extra sets of clothing, toiletries and hygiene product, mobile phone and charger, map, compass, important information written on, paper, for example, phone numbers, and insurance information. Civil Defense Shelter you are not designated a specific civil defense. Shelter, evacuate to the nearest one at msb.se. 
you'll find a map pinpointing all shelters in Sweden. A shelter should have water and basic toilet facilities. If you have time, bring something to eat, warm clothes and toiletries. Be prepared to stay in the shelter for a few days. During peacetime, shelters may be used for other activities. However, they are required to be reset and available within 48 hours should the need arise. During a heightened state of alert, the property owner is obligated to ensure that the shelter is properly prepared. Shelters are marked with a sign, a blue triangle, inside an orange rectangle. This symbol means the premises are protected under the laws of war. Nearest civil defense shelter. If you require shelter in case of a heightened state of alert, you have the right to enter the shelter that is nearest to your location. Locate shelters or other protective structures close to your home, school, and workplace. And erode our will to defend ourselves. Those seeking to influence us may do so in the following ways. Spreading lies, false narratives, or stories that are partially true, but taken out of context. Manufacturing fake images, videos, or voice recordings. Attempts to elicit strong emotions related to certain issues. Or events to heighten a sense of worry or suspicion towards each other. How you can contribute to our collective resilience. Be mindful of content that elicits a strong reaction. Only share information you know comes from reliable sources. Try to verify information from several different sources. Get verification from official government sources when something serious has happened. Digital security. Digitalization can make us vulnerable to cyber attacks that knock out critical IT systems. You play a part in strengthening Sweden's resilience by handling information in a safe and secure way, both at home and at work. Tips to get started. Create strong passwords that use a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Don't click on links in emails or open attachments from unknown senders. Install security updates immediately. Perform regular backups of important information to an external hard drive, USB drive, or cloud service. Terror attacks. Terror attacks and armed aggression can be directed at people or vital infrastructure, such as transport systems or the electrical grid. If you are Affected, act immediately. Run. Get far away from the location. Hide. Lock yourself in a room or hide. If you can't run away, put your phone on silent mode. Tell. Call 112 and report what has happened. Things to consider. Only call if you need to request help so as not to overload. The network. Follow instructions from the police, rescue services and government agencies. Do not spread rumors or unverified information about what is happening. Do not call anyone who may be in danger. You might reveal their hiding place. How to stop bleeding. Make sure you and the injured person are safe before assisting them. This is how you stop severe bleeding. Phone emergency services at 112 or ask someone else to phone them. Apply direct, firm pressure on the wound with your arms. Extend it in an outstretched position, preferably using a bunched up t-shirt, scarf or similar item. If you become fatigued or require assistance, ask someone to apply pressure on top of your hands. Maintain pressure until an ambulance arrives. And the paramedics say that you can release pressure. Extreme weather events. Extreme weather events, including heavy rain, floods, and heat waves, are becoming increasingly common. The risk of natural disasters, such as landslides or forest fires, is also on the rise. Take the following steps to increase your preparedness in support of government authorities. Find information through your municipality's website or msb.se about the risk of and preparedness for landslides, erosion and 
flooding where you live. Visit msb.se or chrisinformation.se to get advice on how to prepare for extreme weather. Find out if there is a fire ban in your area before you ignite a fire or grill. Information is available at chrisinformation.se and other websites. Pay attention to the weather forecast and download apps that provide weather warnings, for example, chrisinformation.se, the Swedish public broadcaster Sveriges Radio, and SMHI Vader. All issued warnings should be taken seriously. In case of extreme weather events or natural disasters, switch on the Swedish public broadcaster Sveriges Radio. Channel P4, to get information and further instructions. For example, if you need to boil your tap water or if your area needs to be evacuated. Pathogens Infectious diseases can spread quickly and cause major outbreaks. If an infectious disease has begun to spread, government agencies will provide recommendations on how to protect yourself and others. Stay up to date on information from your municipality, your regional infectious disease specialist, and government agencies. Help reduce the spread of the disease by following the recommendations from government agencies. If you require special assistance, individuals who currently receive special assistance from their municipality will continue to receive assistance in the event of crisis or war. However, you must still observe emergency preparedness practices in accordance with your specific needs. Talk to your family, friends, neighbors, assistants or care. Administrator about what help you may require. Make a crisis emergency plan that also includes important information about things like prescription medicines and other medical aids. Prepare for transport to a shelter or other protected areas. Use your phone's accessibility features to receive the most important information. If you are hearing impaired, use the app from chrisinformation.se and switch on notifications to receive public service. Announcements, PSAs. If you are visually impaired, use text-to-speech tools or screen. Readers to receive information from government authorities. Guide dogs or service dogs are allowed in civil defense shelters. Get more information at msb.se or chrisinformation.se. If you have pets, you are responsible for the care and well-being of your pet in the event of crisis or war. Make sure you have supplies at home to last at least a week. In the event of an air raid, you may bring your pet to protective structures like cellars, garages, and metro stations. If you must leave your pet at home and it can manage free access to food, leave additional food and water. Good to keep at home. Dry food and water in storage. Containers. Medicines for the animal. A cage or other way to transport. The animal. Handwritten phone number. To your veterinarian, insurance. Information and ID number. If you own horses or livestock, more information. About emergency preparedness is available at. JordyBrucksaverKed.se. If you are worried. Uncertain times can make people feel worried. And anxious. Here are some tips on how to manage your anxiety. Talk to family, friends, neighbors, or a mental health organization about your feelings. It can help you feel less alone. Get involved, for example, by helping others improve their emergency preparedness. This can give you a sense of purpose. Take care of your personal health. Good food, sleep and Physical exercise relieves stress and improve well-being. Restrict your news intake. Find a level that works for you. And spend more time doing things that make you feel good. 
Seek professional help if you have severe anxiety. Talking to children about crises and war. Children of various ages express worry in different ways. Be present and pay attention to signs of stress or concern. Explain the situation to the child. Listen and invite to a conversation. Only talk about verified information. Avoid unnecessary details. If you don't have all the answers, be honest and admit it. Plan activities with the child to help shift their focus. Important phone numbers 112. For acute emergencies, ambulance, rescue services, and police. 11414. For non emergency contact with the police. 11313. To receive or provide information about serious accidents and crisis. 1177. Medical assistance if you are injured or sick. More information. MSB.SE. More information about emergency preparedness in the event of crisis or war, including videos, exercises, and courses offered by the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency. Fersvarsmakten.se About the military defense of Sweden and its allies. Chrisinformation.se Emergency information from Swedish government authorities. Lilla.chrisinformation.se Information about crisis and war suitable for children and younger audiences. Public Service Announcement, PSA the siren sounds for 7 seconds, followed by 14 seconds of silence. The pattern is repeated for 2 minutes. Go indoors, close all windows and doors, and, if possible, switch off the ventilation. Listen to the Swedish public broadcaster. Sveriges Radio, Channel P4. 141414. Emergency Alarm. The siren sounds for 30 seconds, followed by 15 seconds of silence. The pattern is repeated for 5 minutes. Listen to the Swedish public broadcaster Sveriges Radio, Channel P4. If you are in the military service or civil service, proceed immediately to the place you have been designated. Air Raid Warning The siren consists of short bursts, which sound for 1 minute. Immediately seek a civil defense shelter or another protective place. Choose the nearest one. All clear. A long, uninterrupted siren lasting 30 seconds. <laughs>